In this guitar lesson, I'm going to teach y'all this little chicken picking lick in the key of A. Sounds like this right here. So that lick is four measures long. And after we learn this lick in this video today, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to combine this lick with two other guitar licks that we've learned in previous lessons here at countryguitaronline.com. And when we combine all three of these four measure licks, we'll have a total of 12 measures or 12 bars. And basically we're just taking three different licks, combining them to create a full length guitar solo. So let me go ahead and play through the entire solo just so you can hear it and uh, see if you can pick out the lick that we're going to work on today, the one that starts like this. Um, let me go ahead and play this solo and then we'll get into the teaching. So let's go ahead and learn how to play this. Right now, I'm going to play through the lick a few times at a nice slow pace with the tablature on the screen for those fast learners out there. And uh, after we do the playthrough, we'll have a full breakdown where we go one measure at a time and I'll give you some extra detail on exactly how to play this. So first, let's learn measures one and two. Sounds like this. So let's check out this tablature real quick. Uh, the first measure on the screen, that is just a pickup measure. So basically we just have one pickup note. See that right there on the third fret fourth string and you're just going to do a down pick on that note and slide up one fret you're just going to slide up to the fourth fret and if you see here i'm using the ring finger of my fretting hand so slide up slide up pick pick slide up pick pick get that part down first slide up Then after that, what we're going to do here is this part. So one thing I wanted to point out 
Um, right now, I see we're about halfway through that second measure. So right there, that first note, that part we're working on now, um, second fret, third string. See in the toucher, there's a little M right above that note. That just means we're not gonna use our pick to pick that note. We are gonna use the middle finger of our picking hand, you know, and it's where we're doing a little hybrid picking. So that note um, is gonna be really short also. See that little dot above the note? Um, that means it's staccato, which is just a real short note instead of letting it ring out, you know? You're just gonna play it and then lift up your, your fretting hand a little bit to cut it short. So uh, anyways, for this part here, with our fretting hand, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bar across with our pointer finger. And that note that we're, we're plucking, um, right here, we're using kind of the, uh, the fleshy part, you know, of our, our pointer finger. And, but then our, our pointer finger is also kind of barred across and ready to go on the fourth string right there because right after that little staccato note we're going to do a little bend and so we need our pointer finger over those two strings basically so it's available and ready to go for that little bend and release bend up and release it back down and then just pick the open fourth string All right, we got measures one and two. Now let's learn measure three. One thing I wanted to point out right at the beginning of measure three, see we've got a little note in parentheses, that open fourth string. Um, that just means it's a tied note. Remember right before it, at the end of the second measure, we did that little we ended with the uh, pick on that open fourth string. See that little, little, I don't know, curved line there, that little tied note? That's just as simple as a tied note. It means we're gonna let that note ring out into the third measure, and we're not gonna pick that note. That's why it's in parentheses. And then we're going to start with an up pick um, on that fourth string to start the part we're gonna learn now in measure three. my fretting hand for that seventh fret fifth string so open middle slide up sliding up with your ring finger open middle slide up third measure. Pause the video if you want to work on that. So up to this point we've got measures one, two, and three. We play those three measures. Just a little recap so you can hear where we are and then we'll learn measure four. So here we go. Measures one through three. Measure four is pretty straightforward. At the beginning of measure four, we're using the ring finger of our fretting hand. See that? Ring finger is on that ninth fret, third string. And we're just going to uh, go, go down one fret at a time. And we'll just use our ring finger, middle, pointer, see that? Really basic there. So, da, 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 slide up. So right after that, we're gonna slide up with our ring finger. See, there's a slide um, going from the tenth fret to the eleventh fret. And then, da, da, end it 
in that third string, ninth to the eleventh fret. See it? Slide up, ninth, eleventh fret. And that's the fourth measure. And if you're ready, here's measure five. Notice that very last note in measure five, there's an M above it. Remember that means we're gonna use the middle finger of our picking hand. We're not gonna pick that note, we'll just use the middle finger. So, da, 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 middle. Alright, so that is the entire lick. Let me play the, the whole thing a couple times, nice and slow, just so you can follow along, get a better feel for it. Here we go, measures one through five. So now let me show you how we're gonna take this lick and we're gonna combine it with the two licks that we learned in previous lessons. So we'll have all three licks played right in a row to play it an entire solo. And um, we're gonna pull up on the screen here the chord progression that we'll play the solo over just so you can see exactly where you're gonna play each of these licks. Here's the chord progression for the backing track. And this chord progression right here, it just repeats over and over again. And that's the entire backing track. But uh, one round of this chord progression right here, that's going to be the entire guitar solo. So see that top line? That is where we're going to play chicken picking lick number two. And I know these licks aren't in order. The guitar solo is just uh, how it happened. But chicken pick, chicken picking lick number two, it's on that first line. Right there, it's all a major chord. That's what rhythm's playing, in that backing track. Second line there, we got two measures of D, and two measures of A. That's where we're gonna play chicken picking lick number three, the one we just learned. Finally, that very last line there, two measures of E7, two measures of A, we're going to play chicken pick and lick number one. So, I hope you all enjoyed this chicken pick and lick. And uh, don't forget, we got the backing track here at countryguitaronline.com that you can use to practice this lick and the two previous chicken pick and licks in the key of A.